Hey Virgo. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm gonna go ahead and pull an oracle card just to set the tone. Universe, what is an oracle card for Virgo? So when I was pre-shuffling, I did get the card workaholic. So maybe a lot of you are working a lot right now. I'm trying to find a good work. Um social life balance for some of you we do have recovery coming out so some of you could be recovering it could be like literally recovering from something um like physical or uh, medical we do have acceptance here as well so i do feel like for some of you, you have accepted the position that you're in in some sort of situation it definitely could be in work um, but also this acceptance card i am noticing this ghost so maybe some of you have dealt with some sort of loss um recently and i feel like you're coming to a place of acceptance and recovery um, being able to kind of move forward and uh, get through those emotions that you're dealing with for those of you interested in a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com there's different reading options for you to choose from also go check out the merch at swordstarotmerch.com a couple of my favorites are the hoodies and the mug i think everything on there is super super cute so go check it out also don't forget about my lashes at jayslashes.com for you girlies do go check it out also on instagram as well also do be sure to go check out my vlog channel over there just share a little bit more of my personal life and now let's get back into the video universe what are the messages for virgo okay so we got the nine of cups energy this is good nine of cups wish fulfillment uh going for what you want here feeling good and you know fulfilled where you are we do have the page of swords and the two of swords okay so i feel like some of you are confused by something that you see it could be um somebody else maybe you're watching somebody else or somebody else is watching you if you're wondering if somebody is still thinking about you they are and they do watch you they do have the hermit card the temperance and the emperor so again i see you recovering i see you healing from a situation you could be dealing with a sagittarius uh, with this temperance card i also have aries here with the emperor but i feel like a lot of you um are bossing up at this time doing what you need to do for yourself your business i see you making something happen for yourself here with the nine of cups um, I feel like and a lot of it has to do with this healing and this time that you've taken uh, to recover for yourself. We do have the moon card, the king of pentacles, and the ten of cups. So the ten of cups with the king of pentacles. I mean, I feel like right now or in the very near future, life's about to be good. The ten of cups is being overall happy, satisfied um, with yourself, relationships, and your life. We do have the moon card here, so you may feel that there's something... Ooh, they just told me going on behind your back. Maybe you feel like there's something like that going on. I will clarify to see what's what's going on. But I feel like for the most part, this is a really good reading. The Hermit card with the Temperance, you have allowed yourself to heal um, and to feel better. And you've gained this confidence here with this Emperor card or you're about to embody uh, that energy. And I do feel like with the King of Pentacles, finances could be good as well. Why is the Nine of Cups here? I definitely see you working on it financially, and I do see good results coming from that. Okay, we do have the Five of Swords here with the Nine of Cups. So, uh, Nine of Cups energy, like, like I said, things could be going well. Now, with the Five of Swords, you could have people around you that are hating, honestly. Um, that things may be going in your favor right now. Like, for the most part, maybe they don't know exactly what you're going through, but in their eyes, they see things going in your favor. You could... I definitely have somebody here trying to take advantage. We do have the High Priestess with the Page of Swords. Maybe you already know this. The High Priestess card, this is like your intuition here. And you could be watching somebody very closely. I want to know more about the Five of Swords. So why is the Five of Swords energy here? The moon. Yeah, something is being hinted. You have the moon here twice. Okay, somebody is not on your side. I'll tell you that right now. Um, somebody is not, somebody is keeping something from you, someone may want to take control. Uh, Cancerian energy, Pisces energy, the Four of Wands. Okay, for some of you, you could be questioning a relationship or a marriage. Uh, Four of Wands, this can be marriage here. Why is the Two of Swords here at the Four of Wands? Is something stable? Is something going to last? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, you're questioning if something's going to end in the future. Ace of Swords, I feel like for some of you, you may question if, if leaving is the right thing to do. Um, I do feel like you're seeing something very clearly. Maybe you already know who's fucking you over or is trying to fuck you over. Why is the Hermit card here? The Six of Cups. Okay. 
Could be somebody from the past or somebody you've been on and on, on and off with. I also feel that somebody may have done something in the past that makes you not completely trust them. Six of Pentacles with the Temperance. Yeah, I feel like what you're learning is to not give to situations that don't give back. If the situation is not equal give and take, I feel like you question, um, should I let it end with the Ten of Swords? Let's see, give me more on the Six of Cups. Eight of Wands, or you could be getting a message from somebody from the past. Water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. King of Cups in the reverse, though, makes you feel like this person may be a little bit emotionally unstable. They may need something from you. The Tower. Okay, so clarifying the Emperor, we have the Tower. I feel like this is change that you've made. You've made, you've worked really hard to get to this Emperor status here. Um, to feel in control, to get the finances together, to... Uh, you know, do your business, whatever it is that you're doing. I feel like you have a sense of control here. And I know some, some situation is difficult. It could be a marriage that you're in, a relationship that you're in. Something is difficult. And I feel like with this tower, you may know that something is crashing down. And the reason I feel like you know it is because we have the high priestess and the ace of swords. Like if this tower happens, I do not feel like you're going to be surprised. Why is the tower here? Scorpio energy. Yeah, the eight of cups. Actually, you may be causing this tower. You may decide to walk away. Because I feel like this emperor is you. Like, of course, it could be vice versa, but I really feel like this emperor energy is you. Why is the moon card here? Will of fortune. Okay. More on the moon. I'm getting with that. Somebody could have started a cycle. Oh, yeah. Empress with the judgment. Somebody could have started a cycle behind your back. Like started a new cycle. Why is the Empress card here? Okay. Three of Pentacles, two of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody could be juggling. You may be aware of it, or you're going to find out. Could be with a coworker, three of Pentacles. You know, you know if this is your reading. But this could be a concern of yours. Yeah. Why is the King of Pentacles energy here? The Knight of Pentacles. So you're looking for something solid, long term. I see you finding it here with the Ten of Cups. Six of Swords of Strength. I feel like for some of you, you may be questioning if it's this Ten of Cups is going to be with the person you're currently with. You may more on the Ten of Cups. The Six of Swords, I feel like some of you are going to be moving away from this situation. I feel like for some of you, you're going to be walking away. And for some of you, you're going to reconcile with this Queen of Cups in the reverse. Same thing with the King Cups in the reverse, that they may need something or they're a bit emotionally unstable. I will pull the advice but to see what Spirit has to say as far as the decision. But I feel for some of you, you are going to be walking away because somebody here is keeping secrets. They... Hmm. What is the overall advice for Virgo? Will of Fortune... The Four of Wands, Queen of Swords. Okay. So use your discernment here with the Queen of Swords energy. We do have the Four of Wands of the Will of Fortune. Some of you are going to be getting married. Jumping into a new beginning here. Why is the Will of Fortune energy here? Ace of Cups. Okay. So advice can be to go for the new. But I do feel with the Three of Cups, there's somebody here who wants to reconcile with you, and then there's going to be a new connection here. Now, I will say for some of you with the Six of Cups, you may have to walk away from a situation before you can have the Ace of Cups. Now, for those of you that are single, a spirit saying go for the new. I feel like you will have a choice between someone from the past and the new energy. Go for the new. Spirit, any additional advice for Virgo? Okay. Wow. Yeah, this is screaming to me. Go... For what you want and don't let anything or anyone hold you back the queen of pentacles and the chariot the high priestess yeah go based off what you know listen to your gut in the situation for those of you that are i'm um, still dealing with this energy here if you're still dealing with this five of swords use your intuition and move forward so i do hope that this reading was helpful for you if you would like a personal reading you can visit my website at swordstarot.com and i'll see you guys in the next video